meat on the bone. Ugh. Oh. Joe. <laughs> you need that toilet paper right there? Why do you think I have a toilet paper roll? I don't like to blow it. my nose, obviously. Unless you want to be punched by Qtoir. What did I just say? Qtoir. Oh, a key or a whistle? Oh, yeah, true. Come to think of it, the kitchen's the only place on the first floor we haven't been. Since the key's here, no, shouldn't have been able to get him without breaking the window. But we should check, just in case. Yep, best to be simple and methodical in your investigation, Sarah. There's a locked black door on the left side. The doorknob has a dial to enter a number on it. Uh, don't, no, 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 don't do anything. Well, I've already clicked on it. We gotta do it now. Seems that's not it. Okay. I use this key. I can now enter the kitchen. Woohoo! Oh, there's she. How the fuck did you get in here? What's this box? Oh, that's the Why head. Why stand stuff like that? <laughs> that's now. <laughs> you especially, please! Just to settle down now. <laughs> hey, now, what's going on, girl? Hey! We're on your side. We won't do it. Oh, there we go. What was it? It was. <coughs> yeah, what'd you leave your. Okie dokie, what'd you come here for? Please leave, Sarah. Alright. We're on your side. We won't do anything. <coughs> What in the world happened? As if you don't know that. I won't. I won't hand over the professor. Now doesn't want to be. Do a pincer attack is hilarious. Oh, that makes. Please calm down. We don't intend to take him. Hold on. That's fine. Then please just leave. It's no good. This can't be resolved by discussion. Now, gotta lock the door. Now no one else can enter. Will you talk to us? You really didn't come here intending to take the professor? Right. Please believe us. Since it's you, Sarah, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please. God damn. <laughs> damn, just a Roger the hell out that. Sarah, why did you come here? I need to put her at ease somehow. I was worried about you. We were worried about you, so we came looking. I was afraid what the kidnappers might do if you resisted them. Sarah, you're right. I'm sorry that I that caused you trouble. Jesus Christ. I've been hiding here the whole time with the lights turned off. Since if the kidnappers find me, they'll take him. Is this room with a light switch? Did no one else come? During that time, did anyone come by? No, no one. You the first ones. I figured as much. So when I entered, there'd be an uproar. At this point, I think we can talk properly. Now, um, it's hard to say things like this, but... I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. And that I'm batshit insane. Yeah. <laughs> Like this forever, should I? What should I do? For one, stop hanging out with a dead person's head. I'll tell her about Jin. Now, did you know that the stairs going up to the second floor appeared? Huh? You don't mean an exit. No. The rooms are just full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Jin got trapped in a cage. Jin? We were able to save him, but he was so, 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 so shocked. He could, he could barely speak still. That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now, but you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive? That wording! Professor Mishima is dead. He's dead now.
You don't got it. <laughs> Jesus! Ow! God, I'm not expecting that. Holy! <laughs> That's right. Of course. I kept questioning him in the dark. But the professor didn't say a word. Because he's dead. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew... Is dead. ...always answered my questions it's with a bad. smile. He's fucking dead. He's dead. And I was in the middle of painting it portrait of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift, but I can't give it to him anymore, can I? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, no. you should finish it. Really just putting her ass down. Bro. Then, what about it? Huh? He must have taught you many things. About art, about studying, about many more important things. Who knows, Professor, makes you my best out of anyone. Now. Uh. You should make it back alive, and finish that painting yourself. I... I want to paint it. Until I finish that portrait, I can't die. Well, don't say can't. Right. It's sad. But this... This box... I'm full of it now. The door's open. You should go see Reiko. She was the most worried. Yes! Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Well, we better give it our all, too. Right! Wow, we love oh. a good character arc. Blue refrigerator's empty. Alright, let's take his head. Very well, Sarah. If you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside... must be the professor. No. Searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do as the protagonist. I touched the box, and the lid opened easily. Huh? There was... nothing in the box. What, what's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now... dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? Where did the professor in here... go? They must have took it. This means the kidnappers took it, didn't they? What? How could she not have taken it? She calmed down so quickly. She was going absolutely insane before. I believed her, though! But the way Nao was acting, I'd have to think she never let go of it. Getting um, hard to tell what's the truth. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I don't know. Even I as think far she... as Nishima's death. Nah, I just felt like saying that. But, like... Where would she have hid a head that we would have seen? That's my thing. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's true. Like Miley, wasn't it? <laughs> Mishima could re could revive her just sticking his head on. I'm sure now would be glad. Uh -huh. Do you really think Miley's a real doll? Was Mishima also? No, we saw blood. Yeah. Huh? It's out of the question. Nope. No way she's a doll. I kind of saw her turn into one. Well, no point in worrying about it. So keep trucking along and just pursue the truth. Or we saw a doll turn into turn into Miley. All right, uh, Basado, cool. Oh, hey guys. Sarah. Rico. Already found out. You did good. Thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Hey, do you have Mishima's head still? <laughs> Don't sweat it, especially because you're safe. Do you have his Close dismembered ahead. head? <laughs> <laughs> Makeup's scary, I can take it off. No, don't. That's not it. I'm very happy. Alright. Woof! <laughs> Remember the fucking. Oh. Oh. What are you talking oh. about? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> How am I supposed to know when all you say is the woof audio? Literally, how am I supposed to get any information from that? A dog barking? Yeah, I've seen a dog barking. I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> You're such a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm being dead ass. <laughs> You're so mean to me. I'm not. I wasn't scared, Meow. Shut up, Aiden. <laughs> Ow. 
Hey, there's other doors here. Can I go to them? Like, the fuck? Oh. Yeah. What a nice hearing color. <sighs> if you want to search, do as you please. I won't assist, but I won't pee either. either. Nothing. I love to investigate. Investigation time! That's true. If there's hot water, we can get enough moisture to live for days. Feels like it's very positive when the whole world's ending, sorry. Only about baths. I really like baths for some reason. It's actually what looks like a penguin. I'm not a penguin. Large red door in the center? Number oh, oh it was 09 before, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Number 02 is displayed above the door. What does this number mean? But I don't see anything resembling cookware. Ah, uh, here we go. Hmm? Oh! What's this box? The number. Oh, uh, okay. I, I see. I see. I, I see it. All right. Yeah. So the black room is going to be 380, and the white room is going to be 612. All right. So it was 380 for the black. Black door opened, and then 612 for this one. So let's go in the black room first. <gasps> Whoa! A large blackboard with nothing written. An electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents and such. There are lots of shredded pieces inside. How about it, Sarah? Do you see anything of interest? This? Huh. Just garbage. Probably just a waste of time to check it all, huh? Okay. The slide whistle. Huh. Recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time-consuming. I'll try searching it, meow. Gee. Huh. Jin seems all fired up. I'll watch until he's done. Omori? There's nothing in the trash can. There's a handcuff at the end of a chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in this room feels heavy. Well, this place is no good. How do you mean that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow, so please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. Oh! I can faintly smell blood. Ah, sensor's dust, it was wiped a little while ago. I put the time around, yeah, maybe the first tri trial. Once I became cognizant of it, I understood. The unremovable, raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instincts. It's disgusting. It makes me want to throw up. Whoa! Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sarah? Shut up, KG. I'll check every inch of this room. You get out, Sarah. But I'm the only one that could point and click. With a gentle push on the back, I proceeded to exit out of the room. To think an empty room can make me tremble. It's been planted in me, the fear of death. Hey girls! Now Rock, now Reiko. <laughs> I'll do my best to make up for troubling you. Seem Jin's doing in the same room there. No worries, Sarah. All right. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah. Hey, Miss Sarah. Yeah, so I'm thinking that it, that just means two people are on the first floor. Is what that means, probably? Maybe. So, so and... Uh, hey, it's me! Are you tired? Not going to work too hard. You should take some time to, yeah, you should take some time to rest. Huh. I'm so energetic! I can't rest. Not while everyone else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own way. You never know who will come attacking you. So, so I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... Er, uh, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. He's the only- for me, he's the only person I know. 
Yeah, he can be a bit stupid in ways, but he's a really good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe, then? So what about Joe? Miss Sarah. So it came very close to me, and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? I had nearly forgotten. No, I had been trying to forget. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Poor guy. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. So, and now got zero votes. And everyone got one vote each. But of course, we thought that choice held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. Do you, you know, know what that oh. means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. We'll be going now. Catch you later. Spooky little guy. Hey, he's an awesome little guy. You know what I mean? Joe didn't vote for himself. Oh, shit. Huh. But it would make sense, because if everybody was supposedly have voted for themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So didn't have a single vote. So that means he, he definitely... Been the one to vote for Mishima, though. Yeah, he could have. I'm just saying that... Mm, you're right, yeah. There's like way too little information on this. Yeah. A piece of paper. Kind of seems like... A card? Don't tell me. Oh shit! Oh. Look, Sarah, you startled me! What are you looking at? This was inside my pocket. That's... It was a photo of me, Joe, and Ryoko. We were at a cafe, having a fun chat together. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Do you miss Ryoko? Sure enough, it's unthinkable for me to suspect Joe. So, he must just be seeing shadows where there aren't any. Suddenly, I thought back. Joe got involved with this because he came to my house. If he hadn't gone, if he'd gone straight home, wouldn't he be living life as normal right now? How, real, how late a realization is that? I was so focused on myself, I didn't consider Joe's perspective for a second. I had my first proper date with Ryoko that day. <laughs> so nervous I couldn't talk at all. Somehow we ended up talking about you, Sarah. Huh? Do you remember that time you tried to sit down on a traffic cone and fell on your butt? <laughs> I just stopped laughing. Huh? You promised you wouldn't tell anyone. <laughs> they sure got the conversation lively. So then I sort of asked her why she decided to go out with me. Huh? What do you mean by why? I mean, you don't know. You didn't know much. That, that, you didn't know me that much, did you? <laughs> really? Well, no friend of Sarah's could be a bad person, you know. Fucking hell, bro. Mean girl psych. <laughs> well, she didn't have a portrait, so I'm assuming she's not important. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, right? Because I was thinking the same thing. Joe. Ryoko and me have made an agreement. If anyone makes Sarah cry, we'll make them cry. <laughs> so, like, stop looking like you're all on the verge of tears. I mean, Joe. I mean... If I make you cry, Sarah, that means Ryoko's got a sock in, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is that giggle? You just... <laughs> you're right, Don't Joe. Don't tee hee it. I'd, I'd better have you protect me. Yeah. Whenever I sit on a traffic cone, I'll exterminate it. Whatever he sits uh, on a traffic cone, what oh, did you say? Hey, oh. <laughs> I read that wrong. Erase that from your memory. I mean it. Oh, that was sick. That was nice. <gasps> Sara Chidoin. There was a noise on the second floor. What happened? Huh? Please go look for me. I saw. No, 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 no. All right. We do it ourselves. Fine. You don't trust the prisoner, okay? I'll go look. Gone be you. <laughs> I will remain here. I'll leave him alone. God damn it! <laughs> oh. oh, the red door's open. Is it ours? Maybe. No, I don't think so. The red door's open. The rest. It shines a bright white light. The oh, counter man, above the door is zero. 
Don't tell me the people on the second floor went in here? It's a white door on the right side. Alright, so yeah, they won't let me. Well, alright. I think you get the white door. Actually, uh, you actually click it for the one. For the one time, I actually have to click this. <laughs> oh my fucking god. The red door's open okay, yeah, and cool. shines a bright white light. The counter above the door is zero. Yeah. It'd be dangerous to enter. I'll just take a peek. I carefully stuck only my head into the room. And then, someone shoved me from behind. <gasps> With that, I lost consciousness.